Hello, hello. Um, so today I want to share with you an overview of a professional mode on Facebook. A lot of you may be aware about it already. A lot of you may have heard about it, but you haven't decided to switch, um, which is okay. It's not for everyone. And maybe some of you haven't heard about it yet. So here I want to show you very quick overview, very simple overview, and that will hopefully help you make that decision. Is that for me or no? Um, so let me move that mouse. <laughs> so in case we haven't met, my name is Monica Todd. I'm a marketing mentor and um, I help entrepreneurs navigate social media easily and efficiently. So let's kick start. So this is my profile. I switched to professional dashboard professional mode. Uh, when it became available to me, I am in the UK, I know in the US, option to switch personal, that's more than your Facebook personal profile to professional mode was available in the US for quite a while, I think since last year at some point. Uh, but only recently, about a few weeks ago, Facebook opened it up to everyone. So when the opportunity came, I switched because I want to see what is it all about. Is it worth it? Uh, is it something I want to stick to? Etc. Etc. So um, I will show you main advantages of it and why I personally like it. And what are some things that I'm just a bit like, I'm not sure. <laughs> so here we go. Now, first question you may ask, why the heck we need professional mode if we have business pages, Facebook business pages? Now, that's interesting thing, because even when you go into like within a Facebook, if you want to learn about professional mode, it simply even say to you, well, when you switch to professional mode, you don't need to start your business page. You can actually hold things on your professional mode. I mean, personally, I think it's too early days. I mean, if you already have your Facebook business page, keep it. It's too early to say it's like, no, just keep Facebook professional mode and ditch your Facebook business page. Um, plus also there isn't everything that's kind of linked unless you're just driving people to a specific website. So it's kind of doesn't matter. You're not utilizing any services, any tabs within the Facebook business page. Probably then I would just let Facebook business page have a nap while you test this. Um, I'm in group where where a lot of people is from US and they were actually sharing their thoughts about it. And there are plenty of pros, there are plenty of against. So it is not for everyone like with everything that we've got here. So let me quickly show you how it looks. Obviously on the mobile may look slightly different, but the tools generally are the same. One thing I can't show you is the reels because you can't access it really on your um, laptop. So I mean, my profile looks kind of Similar, like it was on a person as a personal profile. If I have to be honest, it looks different when you open it on a mobile when it was a personal mode and now professional mode. The biggest, the biggest difference is the insights. Uh, I would say, from my perspective, is the insights that I'm quite hooked. Let me tell you. Now, um, I will answer a question at the end because a lot of time people say, "Oh, but I don't want to share." my business stuff on my personal profile and I want to keep my personal profile pri private. I will answer that question towards the end um, or my perspective on this. Now, the biggest thing is the insight. And um, as a profile, you choose also here in your bio, I don't know how you call it, profile. So I, I got digital creator, but it could be entrepreneur and a few other options you have there to choose. But as much as you can see, it is, I mean, you've got bio, you've got links, so kind of looks similar. So the insights, you can access either from this circle with the dots or you can um, uh, access it from here, view tools. So let's have a look at those insights. So when we click on those insights, as you can see, we can see the post reach, post engagement, new followers, so in the last 28 days. And then you can see, obviously, uh, you can see more on different posts. For me, as a marketer, this is invaluable um, to actually see how the posts are performing and which ones are getting better traction. So, as I said, insights are probably my highlight. 
Alongside the insights, there's ability to schedule posts on when you switch to professional mode. And if you decide to use your personal profile when you switch to professional mode as a tool to promote your business and you'll build your personal brand, ability to schedule posts is great because, you know, the holidays are coming, things like that, and you want to be active there, great to be able to schedule posts on the professional mode. So same, obviously, we have had that on the business page. We have got that within a professional mode as well. Um, so, yeah, you can check out those insights. There is also insights about the audience as well. So now this is slightly annoying, I have to say, Mr. Facebook, that I can't hide this site to be able to see this all. There's nothing I can do. So hopefully they'll fix that glitch. Um, but obviously I can kind of see what is it all about. So you can see inside about your audience. Now, to be able to see the audience insights, you need to have, I think, 100 followers that are not your friends. Because your friends, when you switch to professional mode, are become part of followers. So they're part of the follower count. But obviously follower count will be bigger because your uh, profile is then public. But good thing is, not all your posts have to be public. So don't worry. If there's something you want only your friends to see, you still have that ability to set certain posts audience that this is only going to friends and and it's not public so don't worry there is still ability to do that which is great um but you can see you know the audience the age range where from you can click on the countries as well so there's a those few more things there is a professional gu guide so this is great just to see okay what actually does it give me give you and um this so here that's interesting that's where they say build your presence without starting a new page new facebook business page so that is clearly where they say well if you switch to professional mode you probably don't need your facebook business page but as i said i would be cautious yet <laughs> it's too early um and you know discoverability and everything like that there's at the moment no ads that you can make from professional mode but i heard talks about it so then actually mm, why do I need Facebook business page? At the moment, I am posting on both to see which one performs better. Um, another thing, so apart from the insights, the ability to schedule, um, the you can monetize your content here. So there is some eligibility criteria. I'm not going to mention them because they do change a little bit. And um, But I believe it is minimum 1,000 followers, but I'm not 100%. I think that's the case. And um, you can monetize your content. You probably have seen some accounts got like when you watch maybe post or a live or a reel, they've got the star. So that's that's one type of a monetization. Um, I'm pretty sure there are other types of monetization. I haven't tapped into that at this moment. But yes, you could do that. Um, friends, followers, what's the difference? The insights I've mentioned. Um and yeah, so that is kind of like a big overview. But I would say switch because you can switch back. You just have to, there is a three dots. Let me go back to my profile. And on your profile, when you tap on those three dots, you can turn off your professional mode. And that is where you also turn on your professional mode. So you can turn it off. If you don't like it, you can turn it off. I heard some things that people were complaining that the reach is lower. Um, I haven't kind of experienced that because for me it was difficult to compare because I didn't have insights and kind of comments. There were some posts with bigger amount of comments, some with the less. So I would say I haven't seen um, the difference, but there is a difference in reach for reels, which I can't show you here on the laptop, but that's definitely much higher for me, especially. Um, so that's the reason it's worth checking. Now, I promise to share my perspective about, oh, I don't want my personal profile as my personal profile. I don't want to mix it with business. If you are building personal brands, um, it's not only about sharing your business. It is about sharing your perspectives, your thoughts, um, your journey. There is more to it. Now, Personally, I believe, especially in the landscape of social media we live at the moment, the true friends we keep in touch with through different modes and vehicles than Facebook. 
Um, that is my take on it. I keep in touch with my friends through WhatsApp, seeing them, FaceTiming them. Those are the true friends that I keep in touch with. And I do not use Facebook to keep in touch with my friends and family. That might have been the case when I started Facebook uh, many, many years ago, but now it's definitely not. That's not the priority. But again, if I want to share something just with friends, I will do that on, on like with the post settings. So that is my take. I don't see social media as a tool for keeping in touch with friends and family. Um, I think we need to make a little bit bigger effort to keep in touch with our friends and family. Picking up the phone, calling them, chatting, meeting, you know, knocking to their door for a cup of tea. Um, I think this is more powerful than sharing snippets here. Um, so that is my take on it, if I have to be honest. <laughs> um, so we'd love to hear your thoughts on the professional mode. Is that something you have switched to? Is that something you consider to switch to? And if you have any questions, please pop them in a comment. And if I'm able to, I will answer. It's fairly new for me, but um, if I don't know the answer, I will dig the answer for you. Um, I will see if it's beneficial to do the same video on the mobile, uh, how it looks on mobile, but if it's slightly similar, I probably I won't, but I might do. Um, so hope you found it useful. And um, if it's been useful, give it a thumbs up press that red button and I hope I'll see you on the next video.